Live, right on time, right? Right on time. I didn't even have to put the five minute thing where I started at five minutes later. Jake Lorraine here, High Response Marketing live show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. I've just fired off an email, so hopefully everyone's getting them right now. Les Mark is the first on here. Good, good to see you, Les. Your interview with Nick Pony was great. Thank you. I appreciate it. That was that was an excellent one. I was really happy you came on. I said, Nick, I want it. You're one of the only people that I trust with SEO. Like you, you're in the game. You you've got. I think he said he deals with about fifty. If you go on his website, he's got lots of local clients. It's a real a real SEO person that I can trust. I said, Nick, I just want to talk to you and get honest answers. We're not going to sell anything. It's not going to be about a product. I just want to get honest answers about SEO, how much it costs, what to expect. And he delivered. That was, it was awesome. I was, I was so happy and I have a new, a newfound appreciation for SEO that I didn't have before. I'm still not going to be getting into it. It's still not my thing, but I have a, a very high appreciation for it. And I don't envy any SEO people that are facing the upcoming uh, Google AI. That's gotta be scary. That's why I stick with direct mail stuff that I don't have to worry about. Oh, Nick Katz here. Nick Cat, personal friend. Good to see you, Nick. She's uh she's got a cleaning business, got a got a um small bit, got employees, everything. So it's uh yeah. Glad to see you, Nick, on there. I don't normally stream it out to my my personal friends, but today I decided to. Earl says, Jake, it was 80 degrees yesterday at my my home here in, in South I almost said South Carolina, it's South California. It's okay. When I miss the Northeast, I climb into the freezer in this climate. It is cold. If I were to show you outside right now, you'd see a bunch of snow. If I have to, it's been coming late. Like we've been getting snow late. I wasn't even sure if we were going to have a white Christmas, but it looks like we are. There's snow all over the place. And this climate businesses need to market year round, 100%. I always, it's funny because you look at when businesses are busy. And for a long time, I looked at like, okay, I'm going to target businesses that are, I'm going to, I'm going to reach out to businesses that are in their busy seasons, right? I'm going to hit the landscapers in the spring and all that. And that went fine. But then at some point I'm like, you know what, why don't I start reaching out to these people for the non-busy seasons? Because that's when they sometimes need it most is the non-busy. So sometimes your non, your off season is actually a great time to market too, because you need that business. It's just harder. It's, it's, you have to be a little more creative. It's not as easy. Michael Doty with Doty Chiropractic, the best chiropractor. Uh, we just uh, just doing it awesome. He's he's got a great what an improvement from the first version too, right? Postcard going out. What are you doing? Five thousand, I think you're doing five thousand for your chiropractic agency. You get that back cracked. Looks great. Looks the the postcard looks great. Wine Shop TV is here. Chris Campbell. I just talked to another guy in Wisconsin. Actually, I said I don't run into people from Wisconsin that much, but I. I told him you're in Eau Claire. I hope I said it right. He said, oh, I know where Eau Claire is. It's some other, uh, some other place. Not a competitor. Don't worry. You just don't see Wisconsin that much. It's one of those states you forget. Carl Dietz is here. It's great to see you, Carl. We're going to be talking marketing. We got a postcard I'm going to share with you. You guys are going to love. It's so simple. And it works. Joe C is here. Great to see you, Joe. Thank you. Oh, Jaime Ojeda is here with his second round of... of uh, Review cards on the way. Yuma, Arizona. When I think of Arizona and New Mexico, I think of uh, the Nickelodeon show, Hey Dude. That was one of my favorite shows growing up. And I know I, it's it's either Arizona or New Mexico. That's what I think of. I think of the, the desert and the saguaro cactus. Sarah's even here. Oh, that's great. Baby crying all day. She took a second to show up there. Good to see her. Oh, Bruce No Media is here. Bruce Ruby. My man, copywriter extraordinaire. If you ever need copy, Bruce is the man to go for it. Got the review cards today. Oh, that's awesome, Kevin. That's great to hear. Mark Cook is here. What, San Diego, right? I remember. San Diego. Mark, aren't you retired? I think you're retired military too, right? It's good to see everyone. We're going to talk. I'm going to show you a postcard. I'm just going to give it a little bit for people to join in so they don't miss it. I'm going to show you a postcard that's working. I'd also like to shout out... Uh, well, my God, I can't remember his name. Hang on. I don't want to mispronounce it. He said I could shout him out. Where are you? I don't want to say the name wrong. Hang on. 
He's going to get his postcards today, but I have one right here. Wait, I don't even know. With Keffy. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's a beautiful postcard. I'm just going to share it with you. It's got the, uh, it got the beautiful birria tacos, Mexican food. It's just a pretty postcard. I love that. Anything that's visual and uh, looks good. This is not junk mail. You get this stuff in the mail and people are so worried. Small businesses, I don't want to send junk mail out. Well, if you send something that looks like junk mail, and I can show you an endless amount of those that come through here that looks like junk mail. It's going to be perceived as junk mail. If it's visual and it's attractive and if it's food especially, but if it's just visually attractive, it will not look like junk mail. Here's another one. Let me reflect it for a second. That we just printed. It's beautiful. Look at these. They're beautiful. This is not junk mail. You get this in the mail and it's well received. The mailbox is actually an incredible place to be for marketing as long as you have something that's going to be well received. Texas. Mark, I thought you were in, I could have sworn you were in California. Okay. I get those two states mixed up sometimes. <laughs> Utah, Daniel Jenkins. Recently found your page. Uh, would love to try out this site. Oh, we do nine by 12 probably on the site. I got a lot of them. How exactly does a postcard campaign get sent out? Ask your local marketing questions away. Anything, small business, side hustle, whatever you got. We all have the answers to. Where do I get an address of locals? I think you probably have to look into the system a little bit more because we don't use a list. So the uh, to uncomplicate things with shared postcards, if you're going to send out a thing like a 9 by 12 or any kind of shared postcard, which is probably what you're referencing, you uh, don't need to use a list. That, that will complicate things and you want to stay away from that. You're actually just going to be picking areas. So you go on the EDDM map tool and you look. If you think... If you're going to help local business owners out, if you think, where would my local businesses like to reach? What would be some neighborhoods? What would be some areas of town that they would like to reach? That could be close and ge geographical, like the nearby things, like maybe for pizzeria and businesses that get their traffic from right nearby. That would be good. But also maybe neighborhoods that are heavy homeowner, attractive neighborhoods, got a lot of houses mostly homeowners, that might be a good area. Because you want to think if you were the business owner that you're going to approach, or you're going to try to help, where would they want to advertise to? So it takes a little bit of brain power, but you're getting paid to do this work. In the end, you're patching businesses together that want to reach attractive areas, and you're doing the work for them. You're connecting everyone together. So you got to do a little bit of the hard work. There's not always an easy answer to that. It's just a little bit of a brain power thing. Look at Google Maps. Look at demographics. Drive around. That's the best way to do it. Drive around and say, where would, if I was a deck contractor, if I was an upscale kitchen remodeler, what neighborhoods might look attractive to me? And, and pick those neighborhoods. Austin, Texas. I've heard Austin is a great place. I think if I went to Texas, that would be one. I would go to Houston because I'd see my man, Tim Black, and I'd go to Austin. Okay, yeah. So I knew you were in California at some point. We did the Navy or something, right? I remember. Dan Johnson. I was just going to ask you, too, if you want your extras because we just sent out a bunch. Of, I have them sitting around here. Yeah, we have some extras here with Dan Johnson with the railroad company. He sells railroad. What is the railroad equipment? Old railroad ties? I don't know. One of the craziest, when I was selling home improvements, one of the first houses I go to, this guy came home uh, and he was just coming home from work and he was covered. He was like pitch black and he worked on railroad ties. He was like putting them on or something. It was, it was like a coal miner. It was like in the uh, that movie when he's all blue or whatever, Zoolander. He literally looked like that. It's like your lungs are not going to take it. He was putting railroad ties up or fixing them or something. Yeah, no problem. I'm here to help. We're all here to help. Lots of us here do the share postcard thing. It's a fantastic system. Sarah. Oh, good. Yes, yeah, I, I know because I haven't been doing the village one. I, I'll probably do another one. I've been a lot by popular request, but this I do my marketing ones every week. I just don't normally stream them out to my friends. But it's good to see you, Sarah. There, It's great to see you. Sarah's a nurse. What are you, operating nurse or something? Maybe in the operating room? See, getting people taken apart? How do you do very custom designs? Honey, Honeybee says with stickers on the postcard that can be peeled off. Oh, that's a, that's a interesting. I don't know. That's some complicated stuff that we don't have the capability to do. 
We can do stickers and we can do postcards, but I have even like the magnet thing. We tried it, but they always fall off. They don't handle through the mail. And it's, it's like a real specialty thing that we, we just don't have the time or energy to try to figure out. Yeah, that's it. You got to use some special and it'll cost a fortune. But it's very cool. Oh, yes, yes. Where's okay, okay, let me shine one of these bad boys on here for you. I have one sitting here. Whose is this? Is this? Oh, this isn't Bob's. This is the other worst Bob. I love the, I love the, uh, it's all the, it's, it's so hard that this is, this is Dan's rail, railroad equipment. You know, it's this crazy stuff you never think of. Sometimes I put this in my products. I'm like, there's, there's industries. If you're a local marketer, you're not, even, you don't even know exist. There's big industries and some of them spend big money. And sometimes these tickets are huge. They, their average sales can be hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. And you don't even know these companies exist. And you're one of them. It's like this industrial stuff. And they're left to figure this stuff out on their own. Sometimes these ticket prices are pretty high and they're, they're a lot of times they're out sales, sales, sales reps. Uh, they need help with marketing. You know, there's, that's a kind of a forgotten, they, they don't get noticed. I love their postcards. Cause it's got, well, you get the sales reps. It's like, Bob, what's the other one to, it's not Tucker. And it's each postcard is like, call Bob, call, call Dan, call that. I love them. Florida. Marlene wishes she was in Florida. There's no other place that Marlene would want to be than Disneyland or is it Disney world? I can never get them straight. <laughs> Marlene, thank you for joining. Marlene is Sarah's aunt. She's the best, best aunt ever. Jer uh, Jeremy Ruth. Thanks for coming. Oh yeah. Well, thank you for coming, coming out and talking. Jeremy Ruth's realtor, right? Jeremy realtor. Oh, I have a, mm. I have, I can't share it right now. I have an incredible, incredible direct mail thing for realtors. It, it is so good. It's so good. I can't share it here right now. I will be sharing it on videos. I can't share it right now, but it's so good. It's so good. Things like this don't happen very often, but it's, it's so good. It's so good. If you are a realtor, well, I don't, I don't want my email bombed out. You just, just hang tight and you'll see this, this strategy soon. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. You did definitely need it. Of course. Yes. Yes. Nurses are great too, because, um, the downfall is that the hours, their hours are so bad, but they're so well connected and they're around people. I find that nurses have always done well with any of these side hustle systems because they're, it's just limited usually by hours, but uh, and availability, but they're just so, they're so good around people. Um, and they're so connected. They know so many people. It's really a good, it's really a good, uh, good thing. I'm going to give you an example, just as an, as an, as your nurse, I teach people how to resell printing, right? You can cut, you can essentially open up your own print shop any, any time. And you just broker the printing. The technical term is brokering it. Um, I'm going to give you an example. Uh, almost every doctor's office, dentist, chiropractor, you'll be familiar with, they have appointment cards, right? They have little business card size things where they write your next appointment on. They go through them like crazy. Well, you can sell those. That's just a simple thing that would mesh, you know, anytime. And if you're in that industry, you'll, you'll start to realize that there's tons of these little things that medical practices are using all the time in brochures and stuff like that. And you can sell one of them and that's a recurring, it may not be a lot, you know, maybe you make 20, 30, $40, but that's every practice. And you can go around just selling these and it's a lifetime of income. If the practice, I can't tell you how many practices and people that have been with me 10, 13 years now that are still repeatedly ordering. They run out and repeat order, repeat order, report order, and that all adds up. That's just a simple, a simple example of something that would mesh well in the, in the nursing field or anyone that works around, uh, medical stuff, Dan Jeff, pipe and steel. Love it. Love it. What's the other guy? It's Bob and, uh, who's the guy with the, with the T? I love that name. Dan's in Oklahoma. So what did, wait, wait, let me go back up to where you said, cause I didn't, I didn't see the, uh, you said you got like a fit inquiry on a 15 K 
And sometimes you say, I know you were like, oh man, we didn't get any response right away on these mailings, but you got gets people are weird. They get something in the mail and it, maybe it sits on their fridge for a month. That's I'm like that. And I know that comforts me sometimes where I'm like, okay, I just ran this campaign. It wasn't, I thought it was going to do better. But then I think of myself, like I hang on to stuff and sometimes I need to see things two, three times before I say, oh yeah, well, you know what? I probably should do that. And it sits there and I see it a million times a day. And eventually it's like, crap, I better do this. And then the postcard pays off. So that is, that's outstanding. Shout out to Dan Johnson selling them railroad pipe and steel, pipe and steel. Cabin Truman. That's it. Cabin Truman. I love it. Yeah. It says Bob. I wish I had one of, I do in the back, but I don't want to delay the show. Bob, uh, call Bob, call, call Truman, call Keb. I love it. And it's got their pictures on it. I, trust me, this is good. It's really good. It's just the, the thing with realtors is it's so hard to, to find an audience that's really ripe to, to listing their home. Buying or selling. It's hard to find that audience. Who are those people? It's really tough because you're targeting expired listings. You're tired, tired, targeting for sale by owners. And those are just so work. Like they're, they're good and not owner occupied and all that stuff. But it's hard to find like people who aren't beaten to death with real estate stuff. And every agent under the sun is trying to reach an, an audience that's really ripe for buying or selling. And, and I found one that's working really well. And it's, it's, Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Todd says, is a thicker flyer more effective than a postcard? You know what? I, this is a really good question. I should have him on here someday. John Spangler is his name and he's, he's shared so much. I wish I could, I should just screenshot some of the stuff he's shared in like my private Facebook group and stuff. But John is a long time nine by 12 er but he switched at one point years ago over to a uh, hundred pound cover and hundred pound AQ gloss, just flyer, just heavyweight flyer paper. And he has seen no difference and he does a ton. So he's made that jump and hasn't seen any difference. Meanwhile, it's cheaper. So maybe. Okay, there you go. There you go. I'm going to have to send you some of my stuff. Yeah, no problem. No problem, Sarah. I am. <laughs> Caleb, your postcard is in. That's the one I'm going to show you. I told you I was going to show you. It's so simple. It's the best. I'm going to share Caleb's. This is Caleb. Caleb called it. I got it right here. It's on the back. It's on the back right here. And Caleb's going to, Caleb is a landscaper. Okay. He's got landscaping business, you know, yard, yard stuff. And he's been doing, I'm not going to show it yet. He's going to be a guest on here. I probably could do uh, an interview with him. He's getting great responses. Postcard. He's been doing postcard orders for quite some time now. Maybe a couple of years. I can't remember, but he repetitively gets it. He's always getting business and he's, he's a hustler. He's a great guy. And I'm going to be showing Kale's postcard. Oh, Scott Miser made this. He made the stream and made it all the way over to Pittsburgh. Yeah, you right. It's tough. It's really tough. Here's here's a way to gain an edge, and that's what real estate agents need is gain is to to gain an edge. Kyle is here. It's great to see you, Kyle. Kyle Scheib. I'm gonna show your postcard a little bit. Don't worry, Caleb. Is six by yeah, six by eleven is the unisex. It's the unisex size postcard. It's the it will work both for EDDM and targeted. It's the only size that will. They it, it didn't used to in the beginning, and they made this weird exception for it. It's this one strange middle of the road size. Uh, yes, it will work. It's a great size to go with. Honeybee says any H. Oh my God, HVAC is. It, 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 Targeted and EDDM is a perfect. You should be doing HVAC should be doing it. Furnace tune-ups, air conditioning tune-ups. Yes. Really well. Like that's a prime. That's this is a really prime industry for direct mail. Yes, you are. You are. 
Unless UPS is delayed. I know, I know you need a tracking. I got to find it. UPS has been delayed. Phil, we shipped it out. You should get it today. But UPS has been running for us. We've been noticing it's been running a day late sometimes. So it's because they're crazy. They're delivering ours on uh, U-Hauls. They deliver on U-Hauls. You go to our UPS local UPS thing. There's a hundred U-Hauls everywhere and they're driving. Some are even driving their personal vehicles. Good to see you. So you may, if it don't come today, come tomorrow. Absolutely. Sometimes they're day, but yes. Landscaper, Jake. Nah, but yeah, I'm going to show it in a second. It made it to North. <laughs> it went all the way to North California. Wow. I don't see John Hayes here, so it didn't make it overseas yet. It didn't make it to Ireland yet. Okay, let's show Caleb's card here. Caleb's going to be my guest on a, on a podcast. You know, I love non-marketers, like everyday business Get a business owner that's that's getting it with whatever marketer, marketing they're doing. Get them on a podcast. Caleb's got the simplest postcard ever. Okay. His business is Southland Services. This is the simplest postcard you can imagine. And he tried one time. We spiced it up and he tried it and it didn't, it didn't do so good. So this one does, does even better. So he keeps going with this one. This is it. It's just that. And I've been seeing this as a routine thing with a lot of landscapers because they're not, you know, landscapers are not typically graphic designers. They go on again, they, they go on Microsoft Word sometimes to just throw some stuff. And sometimes we, we print whatever they give us and they keep reprinting. And I'm like, okay, I'm seeing these really like simple postcards and they're, they're working. They keep reordering and Caleb's one that stood out and this, this works. You can, I'm, I'm still getting calls and haven't sent any out for three weeks. That's from his last mailer. That's it. Look how simple that is. There's not even a graphic. Not even a graphic because I think we had a, we talked about this in another live show with a with the guy who just got him uh, on the, with the mower, or the leaf blower. But when people are looking for yard services, they're not always looking for the flashiest thing. If it looks too flashy, it looks too expensive. Maybe they just want a guy with the that'll just get the job done. And I think these postcards hit that mark. It's one of those businesses that people are looking for a bargain. You know, people are just looking for a bargain. And this fits that bill that just gives off that. It's like, okay, this was just your everyday guy. This is... This is probably the one it's composed as opposed to some super flashy, shiny, polished postcard. And you can see it in the results right here. You're going to do great, Caleb, because you've been running. I don't know how long you've been in business. You should, you should say it, but I know you've been doing a lot of things and we had a good discussion. Uh, you'll be able to help a lot of, a lot of lawn care guys and just business owners in general. And I would love to have you on here either on a live stream or a, or a recorded podcast. I know exactly. This is exactly Caleb's going to be one of them. Um, and there's a bunch I should probably just rope up. Exactly. Yes. You're, you're dead on with this. Because it's all, you want to hear that, you know, you're in the industry, you don't know what's working and it's not like you can talk to your competitors locally. You know, you can't go up and hear because you're competing with them. So this platform gives you a chance. I, I could give other businesses a chance to hear from another peer that they're not competing with about what they're doing and what's working, what's not working. Kyle's up there in Alaska. His is really, Kyle's is really uh, simple too. It's great. I love seeing Kyle. I haven't seen, yeah, you're probably ready for another one, right? Where's Kyle? We're gonna go grab. Yeah, I have one back here. Let me go grab, grab one. Uh 
All right. Well, maybe I don't. Thought I had. Thought I had one of Kyle's. His is wait. Here's one. Here's one. I knew I had. That's Kyle's. See, it's just simple. You don't have to have the super shiny. It's just simple. It gets a job done. Landscape card makes you think I'm talking to one. Yes, yes, hundred percent. And some of the some of these landscape guys, even though they're a one man show, will try to make themselves look so big, and it backfires because they're trying to make themselves look so big, incredible. And then people are just like, yeah, this is going to be too expensive. Be honest with your stuff. This is, th this works. Then you have the big companies that try to look smaller. Green for money. Get the money tree. Yeah. Randy's got it right. <laughs> and it's true with, with Caleb's it's, it's uh one-sided. Don't even need that other side. This is true. Yeah. It's so nice. They had to look at it twice. Doug says, would it work to show before and after pictures on the card? Yeah, I mean, before and afters are great. Before and afters are great. Don't You, you don't have to copy this exact form. You do what's best for your business, but before and afters are good, especially things like roofing, decks. You know, those are great. And, and if you're looking at a certain clientele, if you're trying to target really high-end stuff, you know, you might really want to get those, those pictures perfect. Cards, Bruce says, card says affordable without, without saying it directly. That is a great point. And Bruce is a professional copywriter for many years, many decades, probably. What if I'm, if I remember right, Bruce, you're originally from Chicago, but you live in sunny Florida now. Um, these both have that, you know, these both have that, that this feeling of just, this is, this is just your everyday person, probably a great value. And you don't need to, you don't need to say I'm the lowest price guy and you probably aren't, but it gives off that impression. This is a reasonable, reasonable, uh, charge. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. And the nice thing is too, Caleb, there's uh opportunity to even, you know, grow it. Like maybe you want to make your own YouTube channel or help people in the lawn care business, maybe make a course or a video guide or something. People will pay you for that. People will pay you. If you've, if you've done the work, you've made a success and you're steps ahead of someone else in that industry, they will pay you for that. Chili Atlanta. Is it cold over there? Is it? Lexa insurance. Got the open enrollment going on here. Everyone's doing those. Postcards are flying off the shelves. I didn't know Atlanta was cold. You guys probably 60 degrees say it's freezing. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to go. I had to go look for Kyle's postcard. Jaime says, I think we have to go back to the art of copywriting. Yeah, this is a good point, too, because uh, copywriting is now you got chat GPT and you have a lot of people punch, punching things in GPT. I can I can spot chat GPT posts. I've just seen one this morning. And I don't have the heart to tell the person because I'm just going to let it go. But you can tell it's a chat GPT generated thing. And it has one of the, it, it's just a bad, ugh, the things it spits out sometimes. I, I love chat GPT. It gets the, it, it could come up with funny stuff. It can come, it can dumb stuff down. If you want things written in a more symbol, you have to use that and modify it. Not directly. It comes up with such garbage. The art of copywriting, I don't think can be replaced yet with AI. Like you still have to use those copywriting skills. I can strongly recommend Ben Savanga's bullets. I can't put the thing marketingbullets.com. Maybe it's one of the best, best resources. It's totally free. You can learn so much from that. That was a good point. I mean, which one you want to see? This is the, this is the main one we're talking about. Cause it's so simple, but this is Caleb over at Southland services. Look at that. That's it. And thank you, Caleb, for, for letting us share with you. So one of his competitors is on here and starts putting out the same card. <laughs> He's not worried. Caleb says, uh, matches the signs on my trucks. A lot of name recognition at the same time. Yes. Yes. You got the, I think we were talking about that over the phone. You got the trucks. Um, you have a job sign, you know, people see you around and they start seeing everything. Like, okay. There's something to this. Everyone's going with this guy. 
I got to call this guy. It's the same with realtors. They see the signs. They see the postcards. Any home services especially. People start seeing them around. You get jobs. And you're doing door hangers too, which is really smart. Caleb just put an order for door hangers in. And um, then you have the you have the, every time you're doing a job, you have, you have the guys or you go and put the street full of door hangers. Outstanding. Yeah, this is a this is a, a strong thing too. This is a great way to pay for your advertising. Taking that shared postcard approach, Sarasota, Sarasota. Okay, fifty three out. Wow, you're not kidding. That is that is cold right now. I would love fifty degree temperature, but that's cold for down there. That was supposed to be so hot down there. Our Weather, it's it's so sad. Up here, we had the best weather girl ever, weather person, Hannah Evans. And she just moved from uh, here, upstate New York, which is freezing, to Savannah, Georgia. I don't know where Savannah is in relation to Atlanta, but I still follow her. And I see that she's reporting like super muggy temperatures last week. It was like insanely muggy, 80-something. I'm like, it's such a different world. Start going south. Hi, YouTube user. It's great to see you, YouTube user. Kyle says, I sent a lot of emails last night. Oh, you must be doing the 9 by 12 system. Fantastic. Uh, so far, I've gotten six replies. I made my own template. Six replies already. Excellent. I'm just on email. Uh, this is where you make three to $5,000 in general profit every time you, you do one of these cards. I made my own template. Very nice. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't really sell the time I have the templates for these. Um, I think in the future, I should probably put a lot of focus on building more templates, but we're just so busy. But these kind of things like you're using uh, are great things to have templated, like a, a selling piece. You can email, you can show the pricing. So great job. And I hope those all turn into deals. 50 degrees in South Carolina. Wow. See, I don't feel so bad about you guys. Not je Not as jealous anymore. It's not that much, not that much colder. Was it mine? What was, no, no, not yours. Oh my God. I know what you're talking about. No, no. Someone that wouldn't be on here. Uh, no, yours is great. Yours is great. You know, I hope it does well. Yours, I think it's a bet. The card is as good as it can be. I think it's a great card. I love the changes that, that you made, uh, increasing those bullet points, changing them headlines up. No, definitely. You're, you're, I think yours is good. Let's hope it, let's hope it works. Right. AI, yes, exactly. It's it's a tool, but you have to know how to use the tool. If I wanted to print out some just listed postcards for you, yeah, I'm on your site. Just email me. Don't even bother. Don't don't bother. Email me. I got you know Jaden, Megan. Any of us can help you. Uh, just email. It's easier, and it's gonna be a little bit cheaper too. Um, on your site, you have set. Uh, amount numbers that's set in stone just no i can do anything if you want two of them i'll do two of them you just email me you just email yeah thank you i can't wait to see you on we'll probably do it if you're good with it maybe we'll do it next uh maybe even this i don't know i could maybe do maybe do it this weekend if you wanted to but probably next weekend would be good and then release it on monday i think that would be great best cap jeff says best copyright years ago was the x-ray specs in the back of comics I, I never got into the comics or whatever, but I know it's a huge, uh, huge industry. I bet they sold a lot of them. Yeah, probably. It sounds cool. Like you're, you're wearing the comic, you could see through the things or whatever. 24 overnight. I did not know that. 20, 24 overnight in the North Georgia mountains. Wow. I always wanted to do the Appalachian Trail. That's when you got to start in Georgia. Okay, nice. Southeast. So it's even, yeah. So it's a little, uh, I think it's by the ocean, right? I forget that uh, Georgia covers the ocean too. That's it. That's actually sounds cold in San Diego. I thought it was warm all year round there. I mean, it would be 62 would be warm to me right now. Oh, Jaden's on here. <laughs> yeah. Just hit up Jaden. J dot printing for super. I haven't given her her own domain yet. It's only been a year. Jay <laughs> still using the Gmail. J dot printing for super cheap.com. J A E. What's the lead time on printing? Depends what you need. It depends on what you need. Um, but in general, like two, two, two business days after you order, I would say three just to be safe. Depends on when you order. Two, three business days. One to three days ship. Depends on where you are. Fast. All very fast. Even with the heavy volume, very fast printing. 
Sometimes my emails are slow for non-printing questions. And if you were to email me and you ask me, like, I'll get an email with 50 questions. I, I can't. I can't devote 25 minutes of time to reply to an email when we have a billion orders going on. Jay will confirm. There's, I think there's a hundred right now that we're working on. They have to take the priority. So if you if you email something or text or call, that's order like I'm ordering. I want this. I want this. It's we're really fat. We're extremely fast. It's the questions emails that are really tough to get to. I try to. Husky Adventures says, thank you. Makes me super happy to see you like my postcard design. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Zaka. I didn't even know. Am I saying it right? Zaka? Yeah, you did a great job. I didn't do this. You did a great job. I just printed them. You're going to get them today. Uh, it really looks great. It really looks great. Yes, you did. Yes. Great. Great job. Doing the marketing for them. Yes. Outstanding job. I didn't even, I didn't, you did that all on your own. If you have a target audience and you both, if you have a target audience, okay. And you have both their addresses and email addresses. Well, you, you probably can't cold. I mean, cold, you can only do so much cold emailing because you'll, you'll get flagged as a spam. It's really hard to mass email cold. So I would be really careful with that unless you have them on a list and it's your existing customer audience, but uh, email. It's cheap. I know you, there's a situation at play. I don't know what it is. You know, direct mail doesn't work for everyone because sometimes if it's really low ticket stuff or one time off stuff, that's low ticket it can be really hard to make direct mail work. So I don't know what your business is yet. Might want to start the trail in North Carolina. <laughs> oh boy. Now nah, I got to do the whole thing. I go up the mountain at the end and stuff. One of my colleagues, I do printing for a local university and my contact there, she she did the Appalachian Trail and I've been talking to her about it. I want to bicycle across America. That's one thing I really want to do. I want to do sailing circumnavigation. I want to bike, bike across America. I'm going to have to wait till my kids are grown up and uh, and do the Appalachian Trail. There we go. Oh, that's the same one. Yeah. You did a great job. I'm, I don't know if I'm saying right. Is it Zaka or Zaka? I'm I'm sorry. I'm I think it's Zaka, which is an awesome name. That is a wicked cool name. 10,000, 12 by nine. Oh, uh, turn around 10,000, 12 by nine, like three days. I would say three business days because we'll do it in two and then it's going to take a day for banding and then give it a day or two to ship. So you're looking at like five, six business days from when you order to in your hand pretty fast. Jake and his fantastic team. Thank you. We try. We, we certainly do try. Jade like here and there. Where's Megan? She never had a text. Megan. I can't believe you didn't. Yeah. She should be. I'm surprised she's not. She wanted to come on. Megan Megan is the only one that wants to be on camera. She's the only one here that wants to be on the camera. And I can't even get her on. Mary Grace probably would. She'd probably show up too on there. I know. I don't know where she is. I streamed it out to my regular Facebook so she'd see it. I didn't uh, I didn't even know I was going to get a live out. So I didn't uh, give her a. Oh, she's out and about. Okay. Nice. Yes. Yeah, so you can do it. It's nice too. You can like meet people. You can go on it, you know, go through one state and then that you can, I think you can even like, it's still technically a full thing. Even if you stop and you go home for a bit and you come back, I think. Nick says we got to talk after the holidays. Yeah, dude. Yes. New businesses. I have a whole video that I got to put out on that. I have a whole product thing. Come on. New businesses are very ripe for the, for the pickings because they need help. They need help. You know, new businesses don't have a lot of marketing funds. Sometimes they do, but they have to really watch what they spend and what they're doing. Sometimes they need every edge they can get. And you have all these marketing places and local ad station stuff, hounding them and trying to take their money. And sometimes they can blow it on a bunch of crap. Yeah. hundred percent. Oh my God. We do this every single day. How many did we do today? Nick just left. Uh, three or four. Three or four today. UPS will be here in a bit to pick up. 
No, you don't got to do any of that. We do it all. We'll do the whole thing for you. Whole thing. You don't got to do any of that. We'll send you the, but we take pictures of them all. Give you the trackings, everything. Right. The, uh, what time is it? One forty, And then I got to do, I'm doing a webinar with uh, Jason Bell. If you're on Jason Bell's, I'll see you in an, in an hour or so on Jason's, to Jason's group. He's, he's a great guy. I don't know if any of you know Jason Bell. The, I guess some things that I would, we should probably do a whole video on 2024 marketing, but I would really try to tighten up your marketing. If you're running a small business, you really want to cut the crap out. You know, if you're spending money on things that you can't track or you don't think are really providing a return, I would cut those things out. And I would really, the best piece of advice, it's in my local marketing masterclass. Any of you that have this. The local marketing map. All the answers are in here. All of your answers are in this. Highresponsemarketing.com slash masterclass. But one of the, the best piece of advice that I can really give is to figure out how much, figure out who your audience is, who are they, and how much you can spend to acquire new customers. It's really like if you can answer that, it's makes it turns marketing into a math problem. Marketing shouldn't really be this mysterious thing that you can't figure out. It's always eluding you. It's really just converting marketing into a math problem. If you can sit down and figure out how much you can spend to acquire new customers, What's the most you can spend? Then you work on how much, what's the most I can spend? How, how can I spend even more? Because maybe you figure out and you're like, okay, I could spend $10 on a new, but then you think, well, that doesn't seem very realistic. If my average customer is spending $100 and, I, and they're, they're coming every like three months, like I, I, I guess I should be spending more than $10 because you can't do a lot of advertising for something that... Is, is you you have to increase you have to find ways to increase the amount that you can spend to bring in a new customer and that gets the juices flowing and it gets you thinking what can i upsell what can i change what can i how can i keep people coming back more often how can i get them coming more easily and in the door if you can in, if you can figure out how much you can spend and figure out how you can increase it, you turn all this into just a math problem. It becomes just a simple math problem. And you start doing marketing with uh, in, in realistic terms. You know, okay, I can spend this. We got five customers out of this and it cost us $1,000. I paid $200 per customer, but we generated $60,000 in, in remodeling or whatever. And you start to realize, okay, I can spend $200 per customer. Maybe we can train our guys and we can close even more people. Now we can spend 250. Now we can spend 300. And the, the businesses that ultimately figure out how to spend more and more per customer, they're the real winners because they can outspend the competition. When you can figure out how you can spend even more than your competitors for those customers, you're, you're just going to cry. You're going to obliterate them because they can't keep up. They can't out. You're, you're outspending them. No matter how small your business is, no matter how big or small, you can do this. You can think and figure out how much you can spend to bring in a new customer in the door. And then it's just a matter of figuring out how to do that, whether that's in Facebook ads or pay-per-click or SEO or direct mail. The postcard marketing is a great way to do that. And you can knock down your expenses to almost zero when you share the postcard with other businesses. I have plenty of resources on that. You will make just leaps and bounds if you can figure out 90 something percent of every local business could not tell you how much they could spend to bring in a customer. If you could just sell customers, if you could come in there with a bag full of new customers and say, I'm, I am ready to give you, I will put a customer through this door right now. How much will you give me? They could not tell you 90 something percent of small businesses could not tell you, but almost every large corporation, big business can tell you with those exact amounts. But most local business could not, they cannot tell you. And their marketing will suffer because of that because they don't really know what, how much they can spend on a new customer. And it's not, you have to think about lifetime. I don't know why I still have Fred's uh, hike, hike it in sections thing. 
it's not just about lifetime value. Some businesses make this mistake and they think, okay, I'll figure out marketers make this mistake. Well, if your lifetime value, a dentist, okay, let's take a dentist. The lifetime value might be like 30 grand. Well, they could spend $30,000 per customer. No, you can't spend the lifetime value on acquiring a customer, but you have to figure out first what that lifetime value is. Maybe you, maybe you determine that the lifetime value of a customer for your business is $4,000. It doesn't mean that you can spend four grand to acquire a customer because from that number, you have to figure out how much profit you're going to be making, how much, all that stuff and how much you can actually spend to acquire a customer that's going to spend 4,000. That figure might be a hundred dollars. You have to figure that out in your business. You have to do the math for that. But once you determine that, you can now apply that to your marketing. You can spend money on marketing and be really happy with it. Meg is on because she's boycotting, but can understand. Oh, she just gave me such a hard time about that because it was because of her punctuation. She should know better. I'm mean, by this point of the day, the mornings are so chaotic. I haven't even eaten yet. It's one. It's almost two p.m. I have not eaten yet today because it's been too busy, and now I got to do another webinar right after this. So it'll be like five p.m. before I can eat something. It, my brain is just toast by this point. I can't. Pro if you mess up your punctuation, it looks like a question or a statement. I can't understand that. <laughs> Does a uh, business mail entry unit that Dev Devon says allow you for, I think we're doing, we're doing all the mailing for you, right? Allow for you to send to multiple locations instead of driving from it does. It does, but you don't want to use it. You don't want to use that method. That's a pain in the neck method. And it will actually cost you a lot more in postage. You can, but the postage will drive up. It will be way more expensive. It's a way more complicated pain in the butt. You have to go to certain facilities to do it, or you can do it at your local post office and pay like 29 cents a piece or something, 30 cents, some kind of crazy thing. And they'll do it and they'll take forever. It'll go through the third class mail stream. It'll take forever. So instead, what you want to do is just ship it. You actually just want to ship it. And you can use tools like pirateship.com to get really cheap postage rates. In most cases, if you're semi-local, you know, within a hundred miles or so, you're going to use UPS ground and just have UPS ground. It'll get there the next day. You can use priority flat rate mail as well. You just want to ship it. It may cost you 30 bucks to send, you know, a thousand things out or something. But uh, when you start tailing up the stress, the time, the lines, dealing with the postal clerks, you're driving, you're it's, it's worth it. Totally worth it. Yes, Jason Bell is doing a, a webinar that I last minute I'm gonna be on. I didn't know he doesn't do video though, so I have to. I have, right after this, I have to get stuff down on like presentation slides because he he don't do video. Fifty one in Minneapolis. Wow, that's actually really warm. Corey says Jake is spot on with how much can you spend for new customers? Yes, yes. And the goal is to spend as much as you can getting new ones in and as little as you can getting them to come back. Because once they're in, you can get them on less SMS list, you can get them an email list, you can get them a postcard, uh, like targeted mailings to their houses. You can get all these different ways that you can communicate with them for very cheap and get them coming back very cheaply. But a lot of businesses don't do that. They just spend money and they just, they spend the same amount of money bringing a new person in as they do an existing one and they lose, they lose. Jason Bell. Oh, Mike Rinaldi's here. You're late to the party, Mike. You're late to the party. I'm probably going to wrap this up pretty soon here. I've been on about an hour. I hope you guys have learned a lot and you got to see this fantastic simple postcard. I can't wait till we get to the real estate one that I got to share because it's so good. No, Jason is on Jason. It's like to his audience. If you're if you're subscribed to his audience, he's doing he does his his things. Um Oh, nice. Thank you. You downloaded step by step. I tried. Yeah, I made it as easy as possible because I know it's really confusing if you've never done it before. It's so good. The post office makes it so complicated, but it's really so simple. And I hope you get great results. And I hope to see you in a week or two on here uh, reporting any results if they're if they're if they're reporting them. Because I know that's going to be good. I'm going to drive out there and get some of them tacos. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm going to call it a day. So I can get these presentation slides made. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.
You remind me of a guy, um, his name was Chris Hackett. He was one of my first, I just see the Chris H. I know you're not him. He was in Georgia and he was one of my first marketing followers back in 2011. And he was a great, he did a lot of, a lot of mailings and stuff. I miss that guy. I wonder where he is. All right. That's it. That's it. I'm going to see you all. Where's Samson? Samson never showed up today. Thank you, Phil. You should. Philip. Sorry about that. Um, you should. It was great. And hopefully you saw the postcard there, the simple postcard. I will see you guys next Thursday, 1 p.m. I will probably, I may switch it to 6 p.m. too. We had a really good show at 6 p.m. the one time. So I may, I may consider that. And I'll probably make a presentation thing out of it too. Okay. I'm going to see you guys. Phil's fine. Okay, Phil. I will see you guys next week. Thank you.